Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not, please hit the like button, please subscribe and follow me for lots of videos. Today, I'm going to be changing these wheels and putting my new set on. So these are the new wheels, uh, they are 19s, uh, the fronts I believe are 8 inches wide, the backs are 9, uh, they come from BMW actually, um, I believe they're called Twist, uh, maybe a 230 Twist, maybe the, the 230 means they came off a 230, uh, but they took me a long time to refurb, um, to be about a month. Uh, so hence not having a wheel refurb video uh, but I'm gonna I'm a little bit unsure what they're gonna look like I've gone for a satin black so it's not quite as glossy and it's not quite matte it's kind of like in the middle uh, but they look quite shiny um, so yeah if you can comment below on just how you think it looks really and how you think they might look uh, I've gone for a two three five forty um, tire on the rear um, should have a small bit of stretch not too much um, I just plan to sort of lower the van but I'm not sure how low I'm gonna go yet hence um, the sidewalls not being quite so flat and then on the fronts I've gone for a 22540 so they're a bit more straighter up but they are narrower um, so they should fit in the wheel arches a little bit better um, right so let's get started so the first thing I'm doing to start with is just making sure I've got a decent jacking point. Right, so I've gone for a jacking point underneath. So firstly, all I'm going to do is just get a little bit on there. I don't want to go too much. Um, so I need to firstly just crank loose the, the wheel bolts. That's up a tiny bit. Um, I'm just going to move this. Now I haven't got a, a hook tool, but you could put a hook tool in and just pull them out so you don't damage anything, but I found that that is plenty. Uh, right, so these are now uh, 19 mil. So I'm just going to use my, um, I suppose you call it an extendable rope. I'm just going to loosen them off so that when the wheel's in the air, I am able to take the bolts out. So once I've done that, I'll get back to you. So straight away, <clears throat> I found that my lovely um, jack from uh, company there uh, doesn't actually go high enough. Um, so now I'm gonna have to work out how to make it go higher, but obviously safely. So as you can see, it's not the safest method in the world, um, but I've gone for a couple of bits of uh, plywood <laughs> uh, screwed together to make sure they don't slip. And I'm going to work quickly. So what I've got to do now um, is finish undoing these bolts and get the wheel off. So I'm gonna just do that real quick and then I'll get back to you. Okay, uh, wheel off. Um, now what I'm going to do in another video is actually paint these calipers um, and I suppose I could do it now while they're up in the air but to be honest um, I'm going to have another go at doing that um, and then I might even paint them too um, I'm not sure what they're called but I guess it's kind of like a backing plate or something uh, right so the next step is to offer up the new wheel uh, fit the spigots on and then see if I can get her screwed in So I guess at this stage, uh, I ought to show you these. Um, now shout to, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'll just go real slow. Uh, Zach Ring, um, spigotrings.co.uk. Um, I got in, managed to get in touch with him in the Volkswagen form on the book of Facebook. Uh, so they just slot in the back. 
so they're in nice um, now I'm going to try and lift the wheel on uh, and he also sent me these um, so new nuts and also uh, locking wheel nuts so I'm going to fit one of those as well so I've just got a couple of the wheel bolts in uh, loosely by hand to start with uh, I'm just going to pop this one in for you now I wanted to do them by hand because um, I haven't actually taped this bit up yet uh, I was a bit worried about catching the paintwork um, so I'm just going to do this by hand and then I'm also going to do the next one by hand too and then the last one is the lock-in wheel nut one so I'm going to gently pop that one in as well um, I haven't had locking wheel nuts on here yet so I know that you don't do these up as tight um, so I'm just going to pop this one in doesn't seem to there we go I don't want to cross thread it or anything so that one's in nicely yeah definitely going to paint the calipers and I think I'm going to paint this back piece as well so when I do the suspension, I might do that at the same time. Uh, right, so the next step now is just to crank these up a little bit more, lower it back down to the ground, and then we'll step back and take a look. And there you have it. Wheel number one is in, center cap's in, nuts are nice and tight. I'm gonna have a look for some uh, black caps to go over the nuts. Um, so I think they were 17 mil this time instead of the 19 originals. So have a look for those and I would definitely say in another video I'm going to be painting those rusty old things just to make them look pretty sweet. But I have to say I'm really chuffed with them. They do look really good on the van actually. But as I said before, um, comment in underneath. Um, tell me your thoughts. I'm s they do look good for me but I'm still not 100% sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on with the remaining three um, and then I'll just give you a walk around the van checking out all four corners. See you in a mo. Okay, one more wheel to go. Just thought I'd show you a few of these bits just while we're... I'm having a rest actually. That back wheel there was really hard work. Um, <clears throat> So again, I'm gonna show you these, these are the spigots. Uh, he's the man to go to, I believe. Um, here's one here, look, again, with his name on it. Um, not an advertisement, but just telling you, if you need to know anything, go to this guy. Uh, I literally sent him a picture of the wheels. Um, he replied to me in about, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour. These are the spigots, these are the bolts. This is how much it is happy days uh, so it was really quick so I was really pleased with that right so I'm gonna crack on with this last wheel then I'm gonna go for a quick test ride um, I just want to go past a shiny window really to see my new wheels do you know what I mean like look at yourself in the in the window a bit vain but that's what these uh, that's what you do I suppose uh, and then I'll get back to you um, so yeah see you in a sec so there's no real change in the drivability really um, doesn't really change the drive as such um, it's a little less bouncy a little less uh, rocky uh, but I guess that's just because there's no balloon tires on it anymore um, question for you guys really what sort of like uh, tire pressure do you think I should be running um, I'm not really too sure um, they, they they're pumped up obviously um, <laughs> otherwise I'd be struggling right now having like, four flat tires but they are pumped up from the, the guys that fit the tyres for me. Um, so, yeah, shout out to you guys, really. Put a comment below. Tell me what sort of tyre pressures I should be running. Sweet. Thank you very much. Oh, so, at this point, I'm going for the, uh, the window look. And there's a bit of traffic. So, I am actually going to be able to stop. How sad and ridiculous is this? But here we go. So here's the windows I'm looking for. 
there they are little reflection oh not really Let's see if we can get any more going down here it's like the window view see how we get on nah oh here's some good ones alright let's go for these ones here look nice I caught a glimpse at least I saw it so there she is on all fours looking damn sexy she's getting there got a few more mods to do one of them being the suspension and the ride height I think I'm going to try and go as low as I can uh, sensibly without it being too low off the ground uh, but yeah right below for me please stick in the link I would like to know what sort of tyre pressures I'm running um, it would be quite handy um, so again on the rears I've got two three five forties and on the fronts I've got two two five forties uh, I believe at the moment they're at 40 psi um, they look okay they don't look like they're a little flat the fronts look a little bit but obviously they've got the engine weight and everything like that but yeah she looks absolutely sweet I'm really chuffed uh, so if you like the video hit us a thumbs up hit the like button and please subscribe and follow me for some more videos on my journey building my bus for me and my family bye bye